Good morning. Alexia is going to participate this morning in the Oratorical Festival, and we have, um, hopefully we will have another opportunity in, in an, another month or so for our youngest um, members of our parish to present. But he's been working on this on a timeline for a few weeks, so we decided to go ahead and let him do it at the time that was originally planned. The purpose of the St. John Oratorical Festival is St. John Chrysostom Oratorical Festival is to give teenagers the opportunity to learn, write, and speak about their Orthodox faith, church, and heritage. The intent is to help grow their understanding and appreciation of their identity as Orthodox Christians and to cultivate their spiritual growth. The program is called a festival rather than a competition to minimize competitiveness and emphasize that it is a learning opportunity for participants and the audience. So today, Alexia will be talking for his age category, which is seventh through ninth graders. Uh, he had a choice of five topics, and he has chose to talk on topic number three. During the pandemic, people noticed that our natural environment became cleaner. What can this teach us about our care for the natural world? Alexia. So are you all? Reverend Father, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Then the Lord God took the man he formed and put him in the garden to tend and keep it. Genesis 2.15 We are overseers of creation, and we were put as stewards over it. We have grown to believe that earth is ours, and we can do whatever we want with it. But that is not the case. The COVID pandemic changed planet Earth in many ways, having effects on air, water, and wildlife. If we look closely at these changes, we can learn some valuable lessons. For years, people have polluted the Earth's waters. The lockdown, however, cleaned up water all over the world. The Venice canals, canals are now the clearest they've been in 60 years, allowing fish and seabirds to return. In India, the Ganges River has become dramatically cleaner, to the point of being drinkable in some places. We know that water is very important, not just for our survival, but in our responsibility of protecting God's creation as well. In John 4.10, Jesus tells us that whoever drinks of this water will thirst again, but whoever drinks of the water I will give him will never thirst. The Church Fathers tell us that Jesus is referring to the grace of the Holy Spirit. The fact that God compares water to his grace should give us something to think about. Maybe God got so fed up that he decided to remind us of the responsibility he gave us for creation and show us the hard way that we don't own it. Wildlife also greatly benefited from the lockdown. In Thailand, thousands of hawksbill turtles invaded a beach that, before the lockdown, hosted more than three million tourists. In Alaska, scientists heard whales in North Pass for the first time in years. Unfortunately, though, there were also spikes in tiger poaching in India, falcon smuggling in Pakistan, and rhino poaching in South Africa. The earth was created by God. Quote, the earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. Psalm 24. We are singing against him if we abuse it. Besides the water quality and wildlife, air quality as well made a comeback. Before the lockdown, more than 7 million people per year died due to bad air quality. The COVID lockdown, however, helped a lot with cleaning up our skies. Nitrogen dioxide and carbon dioxide levels plummeted. In India, people reported seeing the Himalayas for the first time. It is estimated that better air quality saved up to 77,000 people in China alone. Revelations 9.2 says, He opened the bottomless pit, and the smoke went up out of the pit, like the smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened by the smoke in the pit. It looks to me as if we're making planet Earth more and more like hell every year. The effects of this year-old COVID pandemic are discussed every day, yet the fact that millions of people die per year because of the air quality is almost never mentioned. Although the Earth was helped by the lockdown, it was not by our choice. For us to really make a big difference, we need to consciously change our attitude. We are not all powerful masters of nature, but its creatures. Although we might not have enjoyed the lockdown, in many cases, the Earth loved it. What we like and want is not always the right thing. Patriarch Bartholomew makes a clear point. We need to change. 
Quote, for humans to cause species to become extinct, to degrade the integrity of the earth by causing changes in its climate, stripping its natural forests, or destroying its wetlands, or contaminating the earth's waters, air, and life with poisonous substances, these are sins. The fact that we're sinning is obviously a problem, but what do we do when we sin? We repent, and that is what we should do with regards to the environment, realizing that it is our responsibility to care for the earth. In the Joint Declaration on the Environment, issued by Patriarch Bartholomew and the Pope, they say, We reaffirm our responsibility and obligation to foster a sense of humility and moderation so that all may feel the need to respect creation and to safeguard it with care. We should keep this in mind and make an effort to follow this advice. Thank you.